What I see uh, when I look in the mirror is, is a, a girl who is taught since she was young to, to always work twice as hard for anything that she wanted because my parents told me because I was a woman of color that I would have twice as many obstacles put in my way and because of that I've never it's given me the extra strength to never give up on my goals and realize my place in this world and all that I needed to do to get what I wanted despite despite who said I couldn't get it or I shouldn't get it um, I've also I also see a girl who is obsessed and very passionate about the geek subculture um, and it's more than just being obsessed and passionate it's about it's about being uh, not afraid to be who you are um, especially because the subculture that I love so much is still predominantly male still predominantly white males and a lot of girls are told that you're not supposed to like sci-fi, you're not supposed to read comics, they're for boys. But they're not. We read and play and watch these things and we will continue to do just that. Um, so I feel a sense of responsibility to make sure that that I'm representing geek girls. I am letting the world know and letting everybody that I meet know that I like these things. Yes, I'm a woman. Yes, we can be obsessed with comics too. Um, and hopefully be because of that, because of this small role I play in this big world, that maybe there will be a little less sexism in it. Maybe there will be a little less racism in it as long as I make sure my story is heard and my voice is heard is something as little as just making it known how much I love these things. Um, making it known that there are people, there are girls like me who love these things and stories should not just be written to boys. You can write comics for girls. Have more female playable characters in video games. Have more women of color in your films and in your stories because we notice when we're not there we notice when we're misrepresented and yet we still are fans of these things so that's what I see when I look in the mirror I see somebody who is not afraid to love what she loves and wants to change the role of women and of women of color within the geek subculture